Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and today we're talking about crazy lag in Battlefield 1. And before I start, I want to make sure it's very clear that this isn't a complaint video. <laughs> I understand there's lag in all online games and that the severity of it can be hugely affected by the age of the game, player numbers, etc, etc. The purpose of this video is firstly to showcase some of the ridiculous things that happen when I'm playing, secondly to make it clear in your head what may be happening sometimes when you die and you can't work out how, as it's important to know that you're likely not going crazy, and thirdly, to explain why this might be happening and why we shouldn't freak out about it too much if we can help it. Because being someone that creates Battlefield content, I obviously have the necessary hardware and software and I'm often going over my gameplay, so I get the opportunity to look back on these crazy moments and analyse what's happened, and so I bring to you, right now, three very different examples of lag in Battlefield 1. Alright, example number one, coming up here and... Oh, where, where, what just happened there? Where did this guy come from? Well, let me slow it down for you. We're gonna have a little jog up here and this guy stanky legs his way into existence right in front of my eyes. I'm gonna say that's not cool, but no messing about. Clip number two, we're looking into this room here. I hear someone to my left, I turn and dude isn't even looking at me. And of course, Neo channeling the Matrix kills me. I'm gonna say this also isn't cool, but I'm not done. I have a third different example for you, completely completely different. So we're going for a nice little forest jog here, right? It's all nice, it's fine. Oh, hey, oh, what's happening here? I don't know, I'm a little bit scared, so I decided to run away. I'm off down here, we're gonna get away, I'm gonna be fine when the lag clears, and then... I died to the super OP one-shot kill from a Lewis gun through several different structures from across the map. I'm gonna say that's also not cool. So that was just three examples. I'm not in the habit of recording and looking for lag and stuff for obvious reasons, but I can tell you that there's been way more than just three occurrences of things that I couldn't explain while I was playing. So make sure you get into the comment section to tell me and everyone else what your craziest lag moment in Bath Food 1 has been. And so, with those three examples I showed you in mind, this sort of stuff may well be why sometimes you feel like you just can't catch a break and the game is working against you. Now this isn't an excuse you can constantly use for poor performance. That's on you. Sometimes we just screw up. Even when we think there's been lag or something, it can just be that we didn't play the situation well enough. But on occasions, when you truly don't understand what's going on and you question your ability, your internet connection, and your overall sanity, fear not. It could just be some crazy BF1 lag and it happens to everybody. With that covered, let's talk about why this may be happening, why it can seem like it's getting worse as time goes on, and why we should try to be calm about it and accept it as best we can. Where well, Bass Food 1 is coming to the end of its life cycle, and problems such as this generally do occur at this point for online multiplayer games. That's not to say that BF1 has been a perfect example of minimal lag experience up to this point, because it hasn't. There have definitely been issues throughout its existence, but it is fairly standard at this kind of stage for a game. This is because as games get older, player numbers generally drop off. This means that the lobbies you're in have to pull players from further afield. So whereas maybe before you were playing against someone from a few streets away, this can become a few miles away, a few cities away, a few countries away, until you're eventually sometimes playing against people from entirely different continents. Obviously this isn't going to be a fantastic situation for a fair gunfight, but it is kind of unavoidable if you want to have enough people to play against, and this is going to be worse in the less popular game modes for obvious reasons. Although this problem is intensified when you throw in matchmaking parameters such as skill, etc. This definitely has an impact in games such as Destiny, and it has somewhat of an impact in Battlefield 1, although seemingly admittedly less so, but I don't want to rant about that too much, it's just the nature of the game, so maybe we'll talk about that another day. Anyway, with this being the situation, it will likely only get worse from here, as more and more people drop off the game in the run-up to Battlefield 5. So it's important to try to accept it and stay calm, because firstly, playing on tilt doesn't help your performance anyway, raging will likely just make you play worse and rage even more. It's a very vicious cycle, trust me, and nobody needs any more broken controllers or keyboards. Then from there, it's important to keep in mind what I've already told you. Lag will happen. It's the nature of the beast. There's only so much that can be done about it, and it will get worse as less people play. I do want to say as an aside though, that I have heard some stuff about particular areas of the world having BF1 servers that have fallen into disarray for long periods of time, providing either a poor experience or simply not working at all. If you've experienced that, then I would count it as a completely different experience and say you have every right to be angry about it, considering the money you've spent on the game.
game. But anyway, with all of that said, how do you find the lag in Battlefield 1? And remember to tell me what your craziest lag experience has been. Now, let's head over to the Board of Awesome for the epic people who allow you to get content from me full time by supporting the channel on Patreon. They are the main reason you're watching this video right now. So thanks to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't want to miss future videos, remember to turn on notifications with the bell button and feel free to like, share and subscribe. I'm Git Good Guy and I'll see you next time, laters.